Hi, my name is Arnold Custodio and welcome to another InMotion Hosting WordPress video tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at a new feature of WordPress 4.3, the editing shortcuts. These shortcuts allow you to quickly create headers, unordered lists, numbered lists, and quotes while working within the page or post editor. So the first thing you need to do when you're trying to use the new options for editing is to log in to your WordPress administrator dashboard. So here we are in the dashboard already. And then go ahead and click on posts because we're going to look at the editor within posts. And here's the standard hello world post that's in there. We're going to edit that post. So the first thing we're going to show is how to use the header shortcut within the editor. In order to use it, you need to use two pound signs and then you can type in a header like this is my header and then when you enter it you'll see that it immediately converts to a header and if you look at the heading here it's set to header 2. Now the header option works from header 2 on so if you put two pound signs you're going to be at header 2 if you put three pound signs this is going to be header 3 and so on and so forth. But it goes up to header four, so this is header four. There you go. That's using the header option. In order to use the unordered lists shortcut, you type a asterisk, and then you hit space, and you'll see the bullet immediately pop up. This is an unordered lists. And if you hit enter, it continues the list. Hit enter and hit enter again, it will end the list. You can also hit a dash and a space, and it will also create the same bullet item or unordered list using the dash. So you can use the dash or the asterisk to create your unordered list. In order to create numbered lists, you would actually type a number and you can hit a period and then you put a space and it starts your numbered lists. You hit enter and it goes to the next number. You can also create a numbered list by typing in a number with a parentheses and then hitting a space. The final shortcut I'm going to be talking about now has to do with quotes. Within WordPress, they allow you to create a quote and you can actually see the option here, the block quote. And if you click on that, it actually sets a bar in front of the quote. If you type in the greater than sign and then paste in the quote right after it and hit enter, you'll see the block quote immediately created for you. And those are quotes. Thanks for watching this InMotion Hosting WordPress video tutorial. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel. Also, please leave us a comment on what you would like to see in future videos. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? There's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.